Hey, what's up guys? John from Mongo Fishing. Time for another tournament video. Now, you know, with this channel, whether I do well or I suck, I still put the video out anyway. This is no exception. This is the fourth stop of the Anvil Jaw series. Anvil Jaw is a Bass Nation uh, club here in central Arkansas. Um, and this is the fourth stop. It's on the Arkansas River down in a town called Dumas, uh, the Pendleton Pool. Um, and and I'll, I'll tell you right off the bat, you know, I, I didn't fish this tournament well. And it's um, for multiple reasons. And I'm not making excuses. The, the truth of the matter is, I didn't want to be there. Um, as soon as the tournament was over, I had to leave and drive to Chickamauga for the ABA Ray Scott National Championship. And so honestly, that was my number one focus, was just to, you know, drive to Chickamauga and fish that event. I fished Dumas because I felt more like I needed to. Uh, since I had zeroed on Hamilton two tournaments prior, um, I needed the points from Dumas. And so I wasn't fishing to win, I was fishing for a keeper fish or two, get some points, and then leave and go to Chick. Um, I had also told myself that I didn't, if I didn't have a keeper by like 10 a.m., that I was putting the boat on the trailer and leaving because I had, you know, an eight to nine hour drive ahead of me. And the last thing I wanted to do was fish until, you know, 3.30 and then weigh in and then put the boat on the trailer and all that fun stuff and then drive all those hours to get the chick because it's just dangerous. Um, so that was my intent. Um, so we'll get into the video and then we will come back and discuss statistics and baits and stuff like that. So here we go. All right guys, so battery died, and before I swapped it out, I caught one. Now, he's super close to keeper or short size. Um, he's that size that you gotta remeasure later, because he may not keep later. I don't know what it is, but bass have a tendency to shrink a little bit after they've been in the live well. Anybody who's fished tournaments, knows that it's hard to believe if you haven't seen it happen but it'll shrink about a quarter inch sometimes not always and this guy's like right at the keeper line All right, guys, I'm going to take a minute to remeasure these fish and make sure they're both legal because that first one has me has me really worried. Well, actually, they both do, but the first one really, really has me worried. So I'm going to take a minute and remeasure. All right, guys, I'm back. And it's a good thing I measured because that fish was definitely too short. All right, guys, uh, update. Just did a battery change. It is 9.07, one fish since I let the other fish go again. He just, he shrunk on me. So one fish, keep fishing. All right guys, it's 10.52. I still only have the one keeper. I lost another keeper. Well, maybe keeper. I lost another fish, put it that way. Just got a bad hook set on it. 
It is what it is. Drag slipped. He wasn't the giant though, that's for sure. He may not have even kept, but I think he'd have kept. Keep fishing. All right guys, it's 12.15. I still just have one fish. Keep fishing. You know, it's frustrating as you know, someone is tearing them up right now. But everybody I've talked to, I think the most I've heard of is two fish. Everybody else is either zero or one. But you know, someone's got five and is culling up right now. Guys, he flat choked that frog. Nice. heading back to weigh in uh, I have two fish for like three and a half maybe four pounds certainly not gonna cut a check but I got good points and um, <laughs> for, for a tournament like today's like I'm just glad I didn't zero so I'm stoked that I have two fish uh, so let's put this thing on the trailer and uh, go to the weigh-in all right guys so there you have it um, it took 16.12 to win. Uh, I think it was 10.7 to cash a check. I could be wrong on that. It might've been 11 and change to cash a check. There was 33 boats, five boats zeroed. Only nine boats caught limits. Sorry, just got windy. Um, I took 19th place with two fish for 4.30. Um, I spent almost the whole day near takeoff. Again, I was leaving for Ray Scott. The last thing I wanted to do is smoke a stump out there in in uh you know anywhere on that lake and mess up my lower unit and then not be able to fish Chickamauga. so you know i stayed close to takeoff for that reason um you know it is what it is I, I had bigger fish to fry if you will i couldn't run the risk of any sort of boat damage or equipment damage affecting the ray scott national championship and so i didn't fish where I fished because I thought it was gonna have a winning fish. I fished where I fished because I knew it was a safe bet. And if uh, um, if I didn't catch anything, then I don't have to run very far. And if I you know, did catch something, then I still don't have to run very far. I can just put it back on the trailer and leave. So that's, that's why I fished there. Not because I thought it had winning fish. I did it strictly for, you know, catch a keeper and get on the road. So that's that. Let's see. So after four events, I'm sitting in 11th place without the drop and eighth place with the drop. Now, what I mean by that is this league allows you to drop your worst finish. And since I zeroed on Lake Hamilton, that's obviously my worst finish. So without the drop, I'm sitting in 11th and with the drop, I'm sitting in eighth. Um, Bates. Okay. So I caught 
two fish on camera on a motivated fishing revelation buzz which i don't have on me it's actually tied on on a rod in the garage right now um, one was a keeper one was short and then i caught two on a samford boom boom frog one keeper one short and then i caught another fish on a crankbait in an area that isn't on camera because i went and i did fish one other area for a little while and uh i, I caught one in a crankbait there um and honestly I, I didn't measure him i let him go probably should have measured him but whatever it is what it is so that's that guys thank you very much for watching if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button right down there along with the bell notification buttons so you get notified every time i put out another video if you guys enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up good lord man super windy if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below let me know what you think what would you have done get a big major tournament the next day would you fish safe or uh, fish for the win i was fishing safe Again, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, get out on the water, be safe, and go stick some lips.